Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. We've recently launched our Duna Armada off to Duna. And we're going to do our correction burns now. Make sure everybody is uh, entering Duna on a decent orbit. And we'll set up some alarms using Kerbal Alarm Clock. Uh, oh yeah, we can kill that because we, we know we're already there. Even though we're a little ahead of the, the correct window, the probably most efficient window, but we're there. Alright, so, let's... Whoa. Hey. Uh, let's see. Let's clean up some of the... Junk. Like you lander debris. Get rid of that. Andromeda debris. The other Andromeda debris. Huh. Must have staged twice. Oh, it did stage twice. Twice. That's right. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the ScanSat IQ. Fly that guy. Just as an example for uh, correction burns. I mean, if possible, it'd be nice to get the IQ ScanSat into an IQ encounter. It's doable. IQ is pretty big and pretty close to Duna, so it's certainly, certainly doable. Come on. There you go. Oops, so, Duna, focus view. Here we can see what they're what we're doing here. Aha! So, we're coming in well below and a little to the side. So, that's okay. Oh, right. Uh, here, we make use of thrust limiting, because small changes here make huge changes over there. Except, I don't want to do it yet. I don't think. I mean, I could try doing things now, but I don't know that it would make that it would be the ideal place to do them. I think it's better to do them like out here. So let's set some maneuvers then. Oh, here's where it gets kind of a pain. Oh, actually, I can see it. So let's see. If we pull normal, that brings that up to ooh, nice. Okay, oh, that's actually really nice. And it's, look at that, 3.1 meters per second. And then if we pull a little bit retrograde, nope, let's pull, oh, no, let's pull a little bit prograde. Squeeze it in. That way it's nice and it's going to cross Ike's uh, plane. That'll make it much easier for an Ike encounter. Beautiful. And then I think, will it let me do a maneuver here? It will let me add a maneuver here. Um, if we retrograde. What's it gonna? What's that? Oh, uh, oh, it doesn't show us how much this is gonna cost us, does it? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of that. But um, yeah. So good. So there's that one, and that me uh met uh, maneuver node is in 148 days. So let's go ahead and add scan set. Ike, um, give me. I like having a few minutes extra. Add that alarm. 148 days. Beautiful. Backspace. So. Scan set Ike. Let's see who's the other. Um, ah. I want to see them. Quit hiding. I wish it wouldn't do that. No Kerbal Motion Sat. Switch to. And we'll do the same type of thing. Um, we'll just do a different example here just to show it. Um, just to show how easy it is. Uh, so let's see. Duna is still. Come on. Duna is still set as the target. So now we just. Um, let's see, so let's set it out, yeah, like I said, about here-ish, where's the thing? There we go, add maneuver, focus view, so what's our encounter look like? Oh, do you not have an encounter? Is your encounter gone? Your encounter is gone! Oh no! Okay, so let's go ahead and remove that. So, why? What happened? What happened to you that your encounter disappeared? You don't go far enough. Yeah, it doesn't get close enough. Okay, so that's fine. We're here. We're still close enough to Kerbin, but we can make little bitty differences. Itty bitty changes. And it's slowly ro ro rotating around. Row, row, rotating around. I could use mech jump at this point, but eh, why? Ay, so many orbits, though. They're kind of annoying, aren't they? Um, 
Actually, you know what? Here, let's just do it here because we can. Whoa. How far away is this? Oh, no. Okay, let's go a little further back. Here we go, in a half an hour. So let's just... Aha! Ah! Ah! Aha! Oh, oh, interesting. We go in and out. There we go. So there's a maneuver, and that's in 209 days. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, let's execute that. Because, hey, why not? Just to get it out of the way. Oh, yeah, we'll have to do the same thing for the Ike Lander, because he lost... Or she? He? It? It lost its encounter as well. This will be a tiny, tiny burn. And then we'll have a Duna encounter. And this happens sometimes. There's moving points and whatnot. Um, changing when you leave the Sierra Influence. It, it, things can shift a bit. Burn, burn, burn. There we go. And we got an encounter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's fine. Stop. Good. So now we can focus on this guy and see what that looks like. So that's... Well over there. And who is this? This is the... Oh, nope. <laughs> who am I looking at again? Hmm. Kerbal Motion Set. Okay, good. So, that should be one that has, you know, one of these little prescribed orbits here. So we can figure out which one it is. Periapsis. Winter Owl. Oh, there it is. So it's the blue one. It's going to be a polar orbit. So... And that orbit is going that away. Well, we don't know which way it's going to be going by the time we get to Duna. So we can't say, line it up like this. But we can still get it to come in polar-ish underneath somewhere around there so that we can make it polar and then tweak it uh, to line it up. So let us, again, same song again. Uh, add maneuver. So then if we pull it this way, uh, no, not what I wanted. Let's pull it up a bit, a bit more, and then retrograde. Oh, uh, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. That's fine. We can easily fix that. Okay, let's try that again. It's a little heavy handed there with the uh, maneuver node. I think I'm going to try using the scroll wheel for this now. Whoa. Eek. Okay. Okay, so that's just about squarely under it. Like I said, just use the... Ooh. Interesting. Well, that gets us polar, so that's that's better. Um, and then, oh no, that was retrograde. So, so good. So we'll leave that. That'll be fine. Uh, that should get us into, a, like I said, a polar orbit. And then we can easily swing that around to make it what we need it to be. Add that maneuver node. Again, I like having a little more time. Three minutes. Add maneuver. Good. So they're all, yeah, those are going to be nicely spaced out. All right. Next. Let's see, we've got Kerbal Motion, we've got Scansat, Ike, ah, come back, stop disappearing. Duna Scansat, switch to. And quick save, just because, oh, there we go. All right, so you should still have, yes, it still has an encounter, which is good. Less futzing. So it's target, okay, and focus view. So what's this one? This is the ScanSat. This is also the other mission that needs it to do thing. No. No, that's the Winter Owl. That's right. This is this is something else. Um, so this one, we're just going to put into a polar orbit, and it doesn't matter what. Or polar-ish orbit, at least. Maneuver.
good. Uh, and then let's, nope, let's lower it down just a smidgen. Eek, that was a bit much. All right, we'll leave it about there for now, and then we can easily close the orbit. This is the one that's going to be, I said it'll be a polar orbit because it's going to be the scan sap, but this is the one that has the pieces to um, to do both low and high orbits. So we'll start with a very eccentric where we're coming close and then up high, and then we can stretch it out to make it uh, a fitting scan sat orbit. Good. And that's going to be what? Five things? 6.2. Beautiful. Add one here. Again, three minutes. Add. And that's, yeah, those are all four days away. That's plenty of time in between to, to, to make it happen. Alrighty then. Um, let's try to find Winter Owl. Aha. Good guess. Alright, Winter Owl, do you still have an encounter? You do not. That's just fine. We can easily finagle one. So let's see. A little more prograde. And encounter! And there we go. I think, right? Yes, yes, there's an encounter there. Excellent. Seems like it's a ways away, though. Two years? Oh, T, T mission. T, that's how many... Yeah, okay. There it is. Yeah, it's in 353 days. It's in a lot of days, but that's okay. Um, and this is going to be yep, a minimal burn in an hour. Let's execute that node. Do, 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 do. Physics warp. Turn yourself around. Yeah, Kerbal alarm clock's gonna get busy. I'm gonna let Mechjeb take care of it, of course, because hey, why not? Excuse me. Come on. Oh, there we go. Tick, 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 tick. And encounter. Still have an encounter. Excellent. Alright, so what does that look like? And this again is the winter owl. So this one we want it to come in to match ish with this orbit here. So another correction. Add maneuver. Coming close here. Huh, huh. too much. That's perfect. <laughs> 1.2 meters per second. That's that's easy. That's in 142 days. So that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all going to be spaced out nicely. Uh, give me three minutes. Add maneuver or add warning. Good. All right. So let's see back what we have left. We have the Ike lander. Switch to and I've done a lot of switching back and forth. I'm going to go ahead as soon as this is loaded and quick save. There it is. Good. All right. So let's see. I think the Ike Lander might be one that, yeah, it did not have an encounter when I last saw it. That's okay. Uh, Set as target. Yeah. Ah, too far, too close. So let's set up maneuver out here. Good. And it's probably going to be very similar, just a little more prograde, and we'll be there. And we are there. There it is. Good. Um, that's, yeah, minimal, 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 minimal burn required. Ooh, uh, what are you? All oh, right, 
your your asteroids. Tiny. Alright. Let's go back, Jeb. Do your thing. Yeah, everything's at 100% strength. Nothing's gotten too far away from Kerbin yet, but they're still at high strength. And this is now the furthest, uh, with the Andromeda, this is the furthest any Kerbals have been away from Kerbin. Which is pretty cool. And we have an encounter. Perfect. Alright. Good. Now, what does that encounter look like? And this is Scanset Ikey. So this is, I'm sorry, this is the Ike Lander. So this guy, as well as the Andromeda, we want to get in fairly close to Duna because we want them to be able to rendezvous and dock, transfer a couple people across to the Ike Lander, and then they can head out to Ike. So we want to bring it in nice and close. And I think we want to get them into a, a correct orbit around Duna. Ooh, look at that storm. So let's again, same thing. Um, not that far. Uh, no, let's go a little further. Sure. All right. So my guess is a little retrograde. Almost there. Oh, that's nice and polar. Okay, it's coming around the other side. That's good. Can we swing you up? One more notch. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a decent looking orbital entry there. <gasps> Uh, there we go. Yes, I'm happy with that. It's still a little high, but we can easily fine-tune that once we enter uh, the sphere of influence here. All right, so add this maneuver. And again, three. Add that alarm that slots in the middle there. Beautiful maneuvers, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So last but not least, of course, the Andromeda. Switch to, and we'll fix the Andromeda so that the Andromeda uh, goes where we want it to go. I know this is a lot of repetition, uh, but these these little bitty maneuvers make a huge difference um, for your encounters later. Ah, and of course, the Andromeda doesn't have an actual encounter. That's okay. We can fix that. Easily enough. Where is the thing? There it is. Yeah, okay. You're not going to need that long. And if it's anything like the other ones, it should just be a little more prograde. No. Let's get this up here. What is prograde doing? Prograde's moving it further away. Okay, so let's go retrograde a little bit. That's right. This went a little weird at the end and it burnt too much. So we're blowing past Duna's orbit. So we're just going to slowly burn a little retrograde, at least relative to the sun. And come on. Boy, it's going to be forever away though, isn't it? Getting closer, getting closer. Ah, encounter. Beautiful. That's going to be in a ways, in a while. That's going to be, yeah, that's st still a long ways away. So that's burn is coming up in a few minutes. That's minuscule, though. Execute that guy. Oh, yeah, well. Good thing we're giving ourselves plenty of time to get ready for it, though. Yeah, I kind of like the way this, this thing uh, turned out. It's kind of, kind of spaceshipy looking. Not quite, you know crazy beefy industrial looking like something from what from the expanse but still uh, I like the way it looks 
Where are you? Oh, you're rotating that way? Okay, to get to retrograde. Let's go ahead and physics warp, because otherwise you'll just take forever. I should have given it another control thing. I thought I did. Oh, that's a probe core. Yeah, I should have given it one more control thingy right there. That would have helped. Oh, oh, okay, it's time warping on its own. Maybe light my fire. Oh, God. That's gonna... Oh, jeez. It's such a... It's so weak. It burns oh so slowly. I have nine minutes worth of, of burn time left because it burns so stupidly slowly. Hmm. Yeah, but anything else, I would give up tons of Delta V. Okay, that's good. You can stop now. Do we still have an encounter? We do still have an encounter. That's beautiful. That is a thing of beauty. And now, of course, we can uh, look at that encounter. And it is, again, way out there. So we'll set up a fine-tuning. Be the last one, then we'll conclude this episode. Uh, I think I'll do all these corrective burns. I might show one... Um, I might show one of the corrective burns, like maybe the Andromeda's corrective burn. Um, no, the Andromeda takes too long to maneuver. I'll show somebody's corrective burn. Um, and then we will work on actually getting into, or, or getting everybody into their spots, into orbit. All right, so let's see. If we go retrograde a little bit, pull it in tighter. Eek. Okay. Retrograde a little more. Eek, too much. Oh, oh, that's polar. Okay. Close, but not quite what we wanted. Eek, too much. Too quick. That's striking. There we go. I will take that. That's roughly what we have for the other one as well. And it's still a small, teeny tiny maneuver. All right, so add. Give ourselves the three minute window like I like. And add that alarm. So, spread out amongst about 40 days there. Three day separation, bunch, 10 days, five days, and 20, 18 days. So plenty of separation to make these guys all doable. Like I said, we'll probably do one of them, uh, probably just show like the simple one first there. Um, yeah, Kerbal Alarm Clock, great thing to have for these types of missions when you're launching lots and lots and lots and lots of ships. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, pass the word. I will catch you later.